God bless you guys. Um, before I get started, I just want to say to you all, guys, that, uh, you know, the Lord instructed me. I have prophetic dreams. I've told you walking with the Lord quite often, you know, and he tells me, you know, and reaffirms to my words, uh, you know, to follow peace with all men and really even his enemies, even those who uh, hate him and, and uh, those who are fighting me, you know, of course I've forgiven them. But we can always do more, uh, we can get, have more depth of forgiveness. So, uh, guys, whoever you are, atheist, whoever, you know, peace to you. But I will say Jesus instructed me, as far as debating goes, not to do debates. And so I don't do atheist debates. You know, I, I talked to one guy, Josh Walling, you know, you know, guys, you see him all over the channel. I have to delete his comments because he's all over the page. But uh, Jesus instructed me once in a dream not to be doing that. And fighting them because it takes the oil that he gives me to use on you guys who want to hear the message and I'm wasting it on somebody who uh, doesn't want to hear and he said it's I'm trampling my pearls before swine and it's also a sin and he said uh, the, you know remind me of the scripture he rebukes the wicked gets himself a blot because when you do that it's one spirit tangling with the other spirit and if you do it often the spirit of the other person uh, will get into you that antichrist spirit that antichrist against God and it'll get you uh because bitterness and all these things, they're part of the world. So the the world and atheists and all those people that have those spirits of uh, worldliness and antichrist spirit against God, bitterness is one of the spirits also against against Jesus, and it can take us out of the spirit of the Lord, the sweet spirit of the Lord. And God wants me to keep my sweetness, and so uh, and the oil, and so He's instructed me not to argue with them, you know, and stuff. So I don't do that, but. Um, uh, peace to all of you guys, and I just wanted to get started and tell you, you know, share a dream I had a while back with you guys. Uh, I, I, I think I, I posted on the channel, uh, somebody instructed me to be more prudent how I shared it, and so I, I put that, privatized that video, but I'm just going to go ahead and reshare it. The Lord will give me wisdom. But I was instructing on how to walk in the Lord, and these experiences come when my great desire for holiness, how can I walk in you, Lord? Show me, give me wisdom to walk in you, and the Holy Spirit will give me revelations and dreams how to walk in them more effectively. And so this is what the Lord revealed to me, that I was dreaming. Uh, I was dreaming I was in a bathtub, and it was dark, and it was at my old house, and it was like feeling of uh, being haunted. And, you know, feeling of you feel like you're haunted and somehow I felt you know in my dreams and like I told you my past of having demons on the inside of me and things and uh, saying things in my ears I've felt haunted a lot of times and so that's why I had to get that sweetness of the Lord inside of me when I was going to sleep to replace that you know because I've always been very aware and conscious conscious when uh conscience whenever I've been asleep you know of what's going on and so I was sitting in this bathtub in the dream, and it was dark, and I just felt like there was hell around me, or feeling haunted, and I cried out to the Lord, and Jesus came, and he got into the bathtub with me, and at one point, he put my hand on, uh, I'm trying to see if I can remember how it goes, he put my hand on his heart, and it, it beat three times, and each beat was his will for me and humanity. I knew this was his great will for humanity. Humanity, and when I woke up, I knew it was his three wills for humanity. And these are the three words I heard: deliverance, responsibility, and destiny. And he explained the first one: deliverance, that we would walk totally delivered from all sin, from all uncleanness, from bitterness, from unforgiveness, from uh, from uh, what do you call it? Uh, lying and stealing and cheating and fornicating and porn, and masturbation, and uh, all the unclean things of the world. Uh, pick pick any emotion, and including depression. He he's wills for us to walk totally delivered of that. That's his first will. That's his heartbeat, and his, his ache in his heart. And the next one is responsibility. And he explained that, that we would do our part to enter into uh, and walk in that deliverance by praying, by reading his word, by being responsible and doing those things he tells us to do. And, and walk in his spirit, and follow him, you know, listen to him, 
not walk in the flesh and do our part to to enter into those three that first will and we would totally be delivered that's his heart aches for us to be totally sin free and we can his heart beats for that his first heartbeat his second heartbeat responsibility i just mentioned just now his third heartbeat is destiny and he said in destiny and doing being doing the first two wills we'd be walk delivered and we'd be responsible to do our part walk in that deliverance and we walk in our destinies we would reach the lost uh with the gospel those that want to hear and those that don't want to hear let them go on their way but we would we would do what we're supposed to do on earth and get the message out and when we would do that we would get all our uh all our prayers answered uh destiny we'd complete our destiny Asked the thing about a wife, is that included in that? And he said, yes. But he did tell me in number three for what he's given me to do is do these uh, three movies detailing uh, kind of before the end of days. Uh, the first one's called Deity. The second movie is called uh, uh, Jacob's Trouble. The third movie is Rain. The second movie starts a great tribulation. That's where I need to know about the two witnesses and everything. And the third movie is written. He said he's given me power and resources. And when it's time, he'll provide me the funding to make it big enough to do it so it can get out there. I won't be ever receiving any glory of this. I might go on a ghost rider kind of name so nobody will know who I am. Because, you know, if you do, if, if you do your works to be seen by Ben, you have no reward of your father. But I do want people to hear the message, and I do want them to repent and hear about holiness and things. So he's given me these kind of prophetic things. But that details for you guys. You have something big that God tells you, and if you ask God what his will for you is, he'll show you. And so after that third, uh, I woke up and I wrote all that down, and it was a lot of information. I'm a I'm very good uh, prophetic writer. I can write better than I can speak, guys, actually. But, uh, you know, and I woke up and I went back to sleep. I had another dream, and this was the three wills of Satan, and I didn't plan for it to be that way. That's how the Lord spoke it to me, and he said first uh, that Satan, he appeared as, uh, I saw the character Ghost Rider at a great distance from me, and he was coming with a vengeance, because Ghost Rider, also Batman character, is known as the spirit of vengeance. You know, it's a demonic spirit, basically. They're both demons, but uh, Ghost Rider was coming with the spirit of vengeance, you know, at me, you know, and he's like trying to play chicken, seeing if I'm going to stand my ground or I'm going to get out of the highway and he's going to run over me. And I stood my ground with the word of God. I quoted the word of God and I had to psych myself up to stand. And when I did that, right before he's about to hit me, the spirit of God lifted me up above him where he rode with his motorcycle, you know, trying to intimidate me, it lifted me up to another place and the dream changed. And I saw Different people in my past who'd fought with me and attacked me, even ministries who argued and attacked me. And it was a spirit of uh, opposition. And, uh, yeah, the spirit of opposition. I'm trying to see if I can remember how this goes. And, and I saw one man come to me in the dream, and I basically said, I forgive you. And when I said, I forgive you, there was a, uh, there was a, it looked like a, a switch. Like you see a switch, you know, with the light on. It just appeared a metallic switch, and I saw when I said, I forgive you, and that was, uh, I saw a hand, the hand of Jesus, just suspended in midair, and nobody's, I just saw a hand and a switch crush that thing and cut the power of it. And so when we forgive others, the first thing the enemy comes at you, like I said, Ghost Rider, with the spirit of vengeance to oppose the first will of God that you walk delivered from your sin. Number two, he comes with the spirit of opposition through others. Through others to oppose the second will of God. that to, to stop us from, to discourage us from praying and reading the word and being responsible and doing those things to do the will of God. And after that happened, number three, uh, I, I remember uh, the dream changed and I saw... Uh, a man with a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I saw a little boy. I saw a little boy at a profile like this. And he was putting two wires together. And he was in a little room. And sparking them together beside a TV. In front of a TV. And when he sparked them together, a great big explosion. And it disappeared. And I knew God, gave, the Spirit of God told me that that was Satan. You know, like a little little kid. You know, he's, 
basically when he's sparking that fire, he's going to go up in that flames. But I sense there's a lot of people going to go up in those flames with him in that city, in that area. And so the devil is already going to go to the lake of fire. And he's these two flames, what he's trying to do is he's trying to get your flesh, guys. And you Christians, you understand this. He's trying to get your flesh against your spirit. And when he does that, then uh, he has you, basically. So he puts those two wires together and sparks them to try to get um, your flesh set against itself. And and so that's the spirit of death. And so the three uh, wills of Satan, he comes with the spirit of vengeance, spirit of opposition, spirit of death. And not just physical death, but the spiritual death. If he can get your spirit against your flesh, or you, I should say your flesh against your spirit, he'll get you to sin and die in your sin and go to hell. So those are the three wills of Satan, which p oppose the three wills of God. The spirit of vengeance opposes God's first will for you to be delivered from all sin. The spirit of opposition through others discourages you from doing the second will of God, which is being responsible from praying, reading the word, and doing those things to walk delivered. And number three, the spirit of death comes to kill your destiny, which is God's third will that you walk in your destiny, you complete your destiny. He comes to kill those things. So we have to be aware when we're walking in the three wills of God, that of the three wills of the enemy. And we have to come with a fire to oppose the spirit of vengeance, to stand and walk delivered. We have to have the fire of the Lord to uh, reject the spirit of opposition to forgive others. And we have to have the fire of the Lord to reject the spirit of death that gets us to go back in our sin and choose a life over that. So that's the dream, guys. I pray this blesses you. Till next time, shalom.